Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna configure the flight plan from our Bonanza Beechcraft uh, G36. Uh, currently, the aircraft is located on a ramp in Rio de Janeiro on the Jaleo Antonio C. Jobim International Airport. So let's click on ready to fly and let's configure the flight plan. Uh, if you're lucky, then the uh, navigation systems have already been switched on. If that's not the case, then you need to go to uh, the left part of the uh, aircraft and switch on the uh, batteries at least and uh, the alternators. And if you want to go for the full part, then you can even start the engine and the avionics masters. So we will leave it as is for now. So the aircraft has two displays. Uh, the one on the left uh, shows the horizon and a small uh, map in the left corner. It also contains the altitude meter and the uh, or sorry, the speed meter and the alt meter on the altitude meter on the uh, left side. Um, both displays, the left one and the right one, can be used to configure the flight plan. But I always prefer to use uh, the right one because that one has the option to use it full screen because if you click the FPL button on the left screen you can see it's very small and that sometimes is a little bit harder to configure the flight plan so let's switch to the right side and here we've got the same button right so let me zoom in a bit so we've got the FPL button and the FPL button will uh, give us the opportunity to uh, configure our flight plan what you always need to keep in mind is that you need to start with the airport which you are departing from. In this case, SBGL. So let's do that. And we can do that using these buttons. And that's called the, the, it's called the FMS button. And for those who saw my uh, how-to about the Cessna, probably recognize it because it's exactly the same system as the Cessna. So we push the button and now we can use the uh, first knob or the front knob to uh, move the letters and let's go to the S and to move to the second position you need to move a little bit close to the dashboard and go to the knob which is close to the desktop or desktop <laughs> to the dashboard and press right so we're gonna find the next letter S B, and then again, to the one close to the dashboard. G. L. And here you can see it already displays us the name of the airport and it also shows this icon which identifies that the uh, option we found is, is an airport. So once we did that, we press the enter key and that will directly add the uh, airport in our case to our map. So what we're now going to do is we're going to uh, zoom out a bit on this map. Uh, keep in mind that you can use a VFR map. However, due to the bug, which is currently in Flight Simulator, I uh, strongly encourage you not to use it because it could result in that you need to start from scratch. And you can see a lot of waypoints and um, star points here, right? So the star points are the, the terminal routes, which are, uh, I would say, the approach routes to the to runways. But you can also see, for example, this one, which is an NDB beacon, uh, so YLA. So let's try to find the YLA beacon, beacon first. So again, we're gonna push the knob and you can see it starts where we left off so if you're using uh, a beacon which has the same name, you don't then you don't have to scroll a lot. Can I move to the right? B and then I'm gonna search for the L from Lima. Whoa. Lima and we can or so not the L from Lima. <laughs> We discussed that we should should go to this airport, right? So why uh, BL is not correct. So let me show you also how to do that. 
you can use the same button as we go used to go to the right position we can also use it to move to the left position so we're gonna find the next correct letter y then move to the right again and then search for the letter a from alpha and then hit enter again so in this case it has found two waypoints one in ci and one in sb so in the bottom part in the information part you can see what's the distance but also what the coordinates are of this waypoint well this waypoint is not uh, more than 5,000 miles uh, from uh, our current location. This one, tree, looks a little bit more realistic. So we select that one and then press the enter key again. So now it has added this part and it has marked it as uh, pink, which means it's the active lag. So let us zoom out a little bit more. Um, the other option you can do is also by pressing this button you can also navigate to uh, I would say a little bit further to the left or to the right uh, or to the top or to the bottom right so you can see the mouse cursor here and once you're finished you can you can press the button again to focus on the aircraft but if you want to move to the right side of it like we do oh no. Whoop. Let's zoom in a bit because we want to find some other waypoints which we can use. Let's fly to the other end. Let me zoom out a bit more. Or actually, it would be nice if we go to uh, Papa Papa number two, right? So let me zoom. In a little bit close to that one. Well, always using the wrong side, of course, when you're demoing demoing it. So we're gonna go to Papa Papa Two, which is here. So we're gonna press the knob again. Oh. Number two, not too far, and then we hit enter again. So marks the flight like this, and then we're gonna scroll further down because here I saw an airport SBRG. So let's find out which airport it is. So we're gonna push in the characters. SB R G, which is uh, Santos Dumont. It's also Rio de Janeiro, only on the other side of Rio de Janeiro. So we press the enter option, and that's how we uh, can configure our flight plan. So you see that by default it will mark, of course, the first lag as the active lag. But if you want to uh, change that, you can move, for example, to Papa Papa 2 and then press the active lag button here, which will change the button from uh, SBGL to YLA to YLA to PP2. And you can see it marks this part also as pink, right? So... That are, that's one option to configure your flight plan. Another option is to uh, use the set direct option uh, button. And the direct option button, uh, instead of, I would say, navigating via several uh, waypoints or several beacons, you have the option to directly fly to an airport, in this case, Santos uh, Dumont. So if you would press uh, activate now by pressing the enter button, it will replace our existing uh, flight plan and it will say user and the user means the active position where you're currently in and it will directly set up a route to SBRG. 
right? So if you're flying somewhere around the world and you press the uh, direct button, what you will see is the user option will be here or the user beacon or use location actually. And then followed by the, uh, the target uh, destination. So now how can we remove this, right? So you can remove this uh, by either doing it way, this way, sorry. So that means that we can, can uh, for example, change this to, to something else. So let's do that. Uh, well, fine, don't know where it is. Or oh, we're adding a waypoint, sorry. And what if we made this by mistake, right? So that's also something which can happen. Well, in that case, you can go to the waypoint and you press the clear button. This will, I would say, delete the active waypoint which you have currently configured. So we press now this button and if we would press clear, you can see that it's not active. You can on or uh, not activate it. So you can only do that when the uh, cursor blinks and you when you've selected something, for example, a waypoint which you want to delete. So what are the other options we can use? Well, the other options is the procedures button. And the procedures button has a few options, right? We can select approach, select arrival, or select departure. In our case, what we're gonna do is, let me see if that works. No. And why doesn't it work? Well, because the option we have uh, configured in our uh, flight plan is a user location. So let's start from scratch again and you can do that by pressing the menu button and then selecting the delete flight plan option. At least normally that works. Pressing the buttons again. And sometimes I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> probably some of you also have. So we're moving this. So now we're back to the default, right? So let's go to the airplane. Again, you can press the button which will focus on the airplane. And let's set up the flight plan again by adding a SBGL. So pushing the button again. As B G and then the letter L from Lima. Hit enter again and then let's add the other Ooh. airport also because I want to show you two things. SBRG, what's the next one? So SB is already in, so we can go to the right side and then we can search for the letter R. G, and then we hit enter again will set up the flight like this. So now we can continue the story about the procedures button. So we go to prox again. Use the knob which is close to the dashboard and then we select departure and hit enter. And what will now happen is that it shows you a few options. So we can select the uh, departure. So if you would click the first knob and then hit hit right, you will see a long list of options which you could select. And these are the uh, official routes which you can fly when you're taking off, right? So in some cases you will fly a specific per uh, pattern and that pattern uh, guides you at least far enough from the airport and then you can continue your trip. Um, so let's select the first one. Uh, you can uh, do that by pressing enter. The rotating thing is that you need to press the knob again to activate because you need to scroll down. So you can select the runway from which you are uh, leaving. We'll leave it as is. And then you will 
find the list of waypoints uh, which are going to be used, right? So let's go here. So it says almost uh, first. And sometimes it's easy to find them. In some other cases, it's a little bit harder to find them. So what we can do is zoom out, but zoom out does not always help you. So let's see if we can, can find it. If we don't find it, we simply press the activate button or the load button in this case, which will uh, activate the uh, or will load, I would must say, will load the uh, waypoints into our navigation system. So let's do that. Well, so there's also an option, right? Instead of going to the complete list, if you don't need to change anything here, press uh, the knob close to the dashboard to the left and then hit load. So what will happen now? Well, you can see that it sometimes sometimes takes a little bit. What what it will do is it will uh, add the exi add the new uh, waypoints to the list. So initially it says SBGL because that's what we configured to the user because we're well we didn't start exactly at SBGL we start a little bit off because we're on a on a ramp, and then it adds all the necessary points which we need to fly to to i would say fly the official star route uh, to to leave the air uh, or to to leave the airspace so if we would zoom out a bit you can see that in this case it sends us uh, far in the country and then um, back so you know, what you probably need to do is you need to have a look at all those uh, i would say departure procedures to find your idle way which you can use to fly out uh, or de depart from the, uh, uh, the airport where you're currently at. The same thing we can do for uh, the approach, right? So we can select approach, then it will uh, load or target uh, airport. Then we can select the approach method. And so we can zoom here or we can click this and you can see we can either use NDB or AirNav. In some cases there's also ILS, but it can be that this aircraft is so small or air port is so small that it doesn't have it. So, um, so let's use this one. And again, it will show you the three uh, waypoints or four in this case, which uh, we need to use to land successfully on this airport or successfully that's of course up to you because you can make a mistake uh, but to at least fly a correct route so you're correctly aligned to uh, the airport so now there are two options you can either say load or activate if you press load and then hit enter it will simply load them after the uh, official en route options which you already configured so here you can see the list has became a little bit longer and if we would uh, zoom out, let me now, now do it good for one time. It will send us uh, via this way. So it has replaced the departure options, which we initially configured, and has replaced it with the approach options. Uh, of course, maybe in this case, it was a little bit a small flight, but when you are, I would say, doing a bigger flight, like for example, uh, transatlantic, you would set your departure initially then you follow your en route, and then when you're almost at the uh, target or destination, you will configure the approach uh, depending on the instructions you get from the flight control. I think we've discussed most options now. So we discussed the uh, direct, which you can use to configure a flight directly to something. We discussed uh, the menu options, uh, the procedures buttons, the flight plan, the clear and the button, so three, the clear button and the uh, enter key and the FMS knob, which has multiple functions. You can press it, you can turn the uh, front part and the part uh, close to the dashboard. And last but not least, we used the uh, range button, which either zooms in or zooms out and has the ability to navigate to the map, which is easy because the VMAP 
over the VFR map. As you, you all, we all know, when you press the V key, it's currently not working as it should be. Hopefully it will be fixed. I think this will uh, an update will be released uh, as far as I saw in the developer update. So let's hope it will be fixed in that update. Here ends this video. We're not going to fly this route. Probably somewhere uh, later this week. Uh, if you've got questions, then feel free to drop them below this video. If you like this video, then consider to press the like button. And if you want to see more of these videos, then consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.